Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas and some artist loft, white mixed with flow trawl. And usually I'd put GAC 800 in there, but I was feeling cheap today and since I'm going to spread it thin, I don't think it can dry thick enough to crack. So that's my theory and I'm willing to risk it. I'm going to use prism pores from Color Art. They're metallics and shimmery as a son of a gun. They have a nice selection of rainbow colors all mixed up. I started with a half, excuse me, I started with an ounce of vivid polypore in a two ounce cup and I added as much color as I could and still leave myself room to stir. That was the first day. The second day I discovered those four paintings had cracked. So <laughs> I decided that it would be a good idea. Excuse me, my wet rag is preventing me from rotating my turntable. The second day I decided to fill in whatever I had used up with GAC 800 from Golden about 25% is recommended. I might have gone a little light. <laughs> so I was still working with it. And so our recipe so far is slightly more than half vivid polypore. And then GAC 800 after it's mixed. And then I had accidentally been sent some GAC 100, which is an extender and pouring medium in itself and dries clear and, and I think has a bit of a shine. And so I decided to thin in my mix because it was a little thinner than the Vivid Polypore and the other things. I'm gonna wipe off my spatula and I'm going to use the colors. In a swiping way, we shall see. That is Mango Tango, I believe. I need a spoon. This is Pink Diamond. This is bound to be reminiscent the colors of a, uh, of a recent painting that I did that I love dearly. That was another 14 by 14. I'm searching my brain for the title and it's not coming. This is called Pink Lady. It's a color I haven't used a lot of, but I think it's going to blend well with others. Anything that plays well with others is a good idea. I should pretty quick, I'm going to have to start so I can see what I'm dealing with. This is the Bonfire. It dries very, very orangey and beautiful. Now this is not my typical pouring mixture by any stretch of the imagination, but I've still really enjoyed using it. That is Frozen. This is Blue Velvet. I'm just sort of starting with this V shape. And I might use, and I will use, some Anita's White Metallic, which is basically my way of cheaping out <laughs> and uh, having something that's not very expensive that I can use in the background or as an extender itself. Something will come of this, I hope. I may have to use my studio rag to wipe off my spatula in between a bunch of times just because... That was, oh, Fandango. This is maybe, probably, Neptune's Gaze. I have just realized that I left one of my favorite colors out of the mix. And I'm going to have to grab some Water Dragon and mix it up. So when the paint sits overnight, it's not so bad. It doesn't really separate very terribly, but it does separate some. And I think I've got to the point where, with the exception of the purples that I want to put in, one is 
bound to be African violet and the other is going to be something similar to twilight violet. There's also a rose, rose violet. I don't know what that is or where it came from. Actually, I do probably know where it came from. It probably came from inside the lid because the varnish in the mix begins to make a skim. And I kind of like, <laughs> I like peeling things. What can I say? Um, I kind of like taking the inside rim. If you peel it off the edge, you can pull it around in a big circle and just pull it right out of there before it becomes a problem. I've got one more purple. kind of wish that I'd grab my claret. really like the claret and I don't have any mixed up. I used it all up. But we're going to find out what's going to happen. Oh boy, I'm nervous now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. I'm going to grab a scrape dish. So that I don't have to mix my colors unless I want to. And I'm going to wipe off in between. And then I can pour the residuals from my scrape dish into something else. It occurs to me I haven't added any of the Anita's white metallic that I said I was going to do. So I'm just going to do a little bit of that. Because I don't want to really find out the hard way that it's too much. I'm going to move that over to the edge. Let some of that paint fall right down. Kind of working in my mind upside down at this point. So I'm going to switch. That looks pretty good. I'm not unhappy with that a bit. I am thinking that the white negative space isn't bothering me. So if I put more more white in, more black, right? If I put more white in, and it is a metallic, and use my residuals. By back pushing them off, I might get something I like. And I have toothy tools if I wanted to use them, which is a possibility, definitely an option at this point. If I push my spatula back, I get the color off my blade. This is reminding me a lot of the most recent painting and I wanted to do something that was extremely similar to it because there was somebody who was interested or more than more than one person who was interested in making a purchase. So that's kind of cool. This paint, this version of this paint is very sticky so I'd like to use as little of it or I'd like to have as little of it deposit itself on the tile as possible. There, that's pretty cool. I'm happy. Not sure I should have done that. I kind of want to put some more pink in there and maybe that's something I should do since I'm inclined. And I haven't used any hot orchid yet. I was a little worried I didn't have anything that was totally orange, but right now I'm not too worried about it. Do I want anything else? I kind of do. Hopefully that will be okay. I'm liking it. It's going to be beautiful when it dries. Because the Color Art Prison Pours have a lot of shimmer and shine to them. 
It might be a little boring making it so similar to the other one, but I'm kind of impressed with myself that I could actually do that. Oh, I just got rid of my dark spot. That's too bad. I thought I might put some cell activator in there, but I don't think I need to. And I'm really glad I put the Artist Loft down as a base layer, because otherwise it would be very sheer. And I'm not using the same color up over the edge, so it's possible I might want to paint my edges black. I also could take a straw and go along the edge and blow some of this color right over. Now I'm just playing. And I better stop because I'm still really good. <laughs> There's no guarantee that if you keep playing it's going to stay really good. I will pull it to, toward the edge and take any of the colors that I have that match the area that I want to cover. and let them fall down over and see if they're heavy enough to color, cover. You, you kind of can, I don't know if you're supposed to touch your paint, but I touch my paint. I don't recommend it, but it's what I do. I have little acetate tools. If you look up the acetate, acetate tool video, they're really good for using instead of your finger along the edge of the canvas. And I've got that dish full of paint, so I might as well... Yeah, that's what I want to do. I like putting marks in. There we go. I just keep following my instincts, which is what I recommend. And I want to push that over to the edge. And back push off all of the paint that I have on my spatula. And then I will say, I love you guys. Please check out some of my videos on Playlists, all playlists, created playlists by going to my channel. You'll find them on created playlists. Did I say that twice? I may have. It's late in the day. <laughs> it's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Make sure to look for that prison pour or that color art promo code underneath the video for 20% off. If you guys have questions, please feel free to ask me. If you're looking for my links, I have them all organized on the link tree. So if you need some help, just let me know. My Amazon link will show you two books, because I can, and unlimited possibilities. My first and second 100 videos, and tools, and processes, and ingredients. The whole shebang, basically. Yeah. Well, I like this. And I'm pleasantly surprised that it worked as well as it did, and I'll be playing with colors again. I'm hoping to have a larger stock of prison pours shortly and I'm going to put them in bottles and see what happens and hope for the best. I figure if I keep them sealed I'll be better off. In the meantime, whatever colors I need I'm going to add after you are gone. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Make sure you can know and you can get into a monthly drawing and the drawing happens on the first of the month. For those who make a donation to help keep the studio rolling through PayPal, and you can find the icon on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, and 
By making a donation, you will automatically receive an invitation to get in the drawing. The prizes for the drawing are included at the beginning of the exhibition video that should be on the end screen of this video, and you can find that in the last 20 seconds. Hmm, my email address is below the link tree. On my link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for Students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes and More for Shopping, Pixels.com, Fire Nerd America, um, The Gallerist, Clothing Made in Montreal, Investment Quality and Gorgeous, is available on the link tree. All over prints and kimono tops and really cool stuff. Society6 is on the link tree. What else is on the link tree? <laughs> Everything's on the link tree. Well, not everything, because spring clothing is under the video. If you find that you have not been able to find a design that you like and you'd like to have it added there, you can have it added to spring clothing or you can have it added to fineartamericapixels.com. So you can basically have something personally designed for you that almost nobody else in the world will have. Uh, my paint pouring recipe will be or should be underneath the video. I am going to torch because I didn't use pillow paint. I'm going to probably address that white corner right down there because I think it needs one more stroke of purple. My community board will show you tomorrow's videos. My Amazon link is the place to find my books and that's on the link tree. And everything you buy from my Amazon link helps me support the production of videos and the purchase of art supplies. So I really appreciate your help. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing and watching longer and watching the commercials. I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. If you want a lesson, I give lessons, and my email address is below the link tree. Uh, I also do sell my artwork, so you may inquire using my link tree if you would like. Excuse me. <laughs> my email if you would like. Duh. And I will see you guys in on. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I can't wait to see how this dries. Really. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I didn't zoom in because there's not much to see there. All right, see you and on. Oh yeah, I post every day. Probably it'll be noon in the, in 2022.